Cortez, Florida, population 5,000. This quiet fishing town is nestled between Tampa Bay and Sarasota Bay and home to one of the fishiest captains I know, Will Osborne. With a solid plan in place, I crammed all the tackle I could fit in my truck. Everything from light tackle redfish gear to beefy oversized drags tightened all the way down on eight foot meat sticks. I'm thinking it's gonna be an inshore bonanza and we're ready to crack the whip. With Captain Jonathan Moss, presented by Florida Fishing Products. Cortez, man, we've been on some fish lately, and uh, we talked about doing this a while. And yeah. about time that I could get down here to Cortez and fish with you. I was here a couple months ago with the family, but we didn't get much fishing time in when I was here then. So stoked to finally be on the boat with you. Yeah, yeah, looking forward to it. We got a uh, we got perfect tides. It looks like perfect weather. Yeah, we're blessed this morning. We have a recipe for success today, that's for sure. Hopefully it all pans out. Hey, I ain't worried about it. We're going fishing. That's yep. all I want to do is go fishing this morning. <laughs> we'll catch something. <laughs> Heck yeah, dude. <laughs> go look right there, Will. See yep. that push? Yep. Is yep. this the bar you were talking about going out here to the right? Yep, this is long bar here in and Sarasota yeah, Bay. And looks like they're on this side of the bar pushing to the right there. Yeah, we got a good outgoing tide, pretty low. Those fish come right up there and looks like we got a, got us a school right in front of us. Perfect. Do you know this guy in this, in this crabber? Yep, yep. Right, he's cool. from so He's not going to be mad if we come up No, <laughs> no he's, he'll cheer for us. <laughs> good deal, good deal. Here, Will, I'm going to give you this DOA swim bait. Perfect. I'll throw the top water and uh, if one's doing better than the other, we'll, uh, We'll just swap it up. Perfect. We got going bananas on these baits. Yeah, if you want to sling it toward the left side of them birds, perfect. Yeah, look at them bust. You'll probably catch a fish there. Oh! He blew up on it. He's still on it. He's still on it. He's still on it. Get it! Look at him chasing it. Got him! Yeah, yeah baby! <laughs> Where are we at, bro? <laughs> Oh, it pulled off. He's still, oh, he's still on it. He's still, he's still on chasing it. it. Got, Got him. him. Got another. <laughs> One popped off, and I, I bet you it's the same fish. I bet you he was just angry, saying, no, 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 no. I ain't done with that plug. <laughs> Welcome to Tampa Bay in the redfish time of year. Look right here, Will. Grab oh, a rod. They're everywhere, oh. dude. I was saying, grab a rod. The school's right here beside me. Look at them all out the back. Goodness gracious. <laughs> Look at him out there chasing those baits. Look at, look at him chasing the baits on the surface. Mine's here at the boat. Yeah, we are surrounded in redfish, guys. Oh. Thousand fish around us. There's mine, he's wore out. I grabbed him without getting a hook in my, mouth, in my hand. Look at that beautiful <laughs> golden redfish. Tampa Bay. Fishing out of Cortez with my yes, boy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You told me you had some fish around. And brother, you weren't kidding. There's four or five chasing, chasing. my fish. I don't want to even put my lure in the water. Yeah, it'll probably get bit right there. Look at him right there with this fish. Look at him swimming with him. Look at this craziness, man. He's trying to get back with his friends. Look at him zooming yeah, on the top. Hey, I'm gonna get this guy back in the water. I'm gonna catch me another There you one. go. All right, I'm gonna throw mine back, buddy. 
grab yours. Yep. Look at there. Sick, dude. Goes. Well, I'm gonna let you get your fish back in the water and I'm gonna sling this out here and catch me another one. There you go. Ready? Ready? <laughs> here they come. Oh, gosh. Look at him chasing, chasing training it. Oh, God. Oh, he got him. Oh, my oh, gosh. Pulled. There's another eye oh, pulled. There's another one found it. Look at him. There's... Oh, he oh. nailed it. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. <laughs> oh. Oh, got the bird. Oh, gosh. Oh, my God. Oh my. Oh. Well, I didn't mean to do that. They're eating bear jig heads. There goes the bird. There goes the bird. He flipped back up right. I think I just knocked the bird out. Yeah. Yeah, he's all right. Oh, look at him chasing it. <laughs> Got him! Bro, that is so sick, man. It's like a school of jacks up on the surface, yes. but they're redfish. All They're just red mowing fish. down these baits, dude. Got them fired up. I'm gonna this try morning, just bro. a bear jig head, bear weedless hook. Do it, bro. I know, I know he's gonna crush it. We'll see. Give it a shot. All right. There he is. Did you get one on an empty yep. hook? <laughs> yeah, bear hook. I'm not surprised. All right, there's the first one. There's the other one. Golly, dude. Just chunks, bro. Straight chunks. Look how thick and fat this redfish is. Yeah, bro. healthy. Looking good. Looking real good. All right, buddy. You go back over there and play with your friends. Thanks for playing with me. Well, this is seriously, bro. <laughs> This is some of the best redfish in action I've had man, in a long time. Reminiscent of old Mosquito Lagoon, but here in Tampa Bay with you. Yeah. You yeah, know, I'm not even, I don't have to rush. These fish aren't going yeah. anywhere. We're just having fun playing with them, catching them. You just caught one on a bear hook. <laughs> yeah. yeah, when there's about 500 mouths to feed right behind Golly. the boat, they eat just about well, everything they're just, that touches the water. There is so much bait here and they are just scattering like yeah. crazy. Yeah. The Captain's Log with Captain Jonathan Moss, presented by Florida Fishing Products, is brought to you by Florida Fishing Products, Icon Coolers, Denko Flyers, Temple Fork Outfitters, Skinny Water Culture, and Go Castaway Fishing Charters. Look at them all right here in the water. I'm going to throw mine out. Yeah, let's double up. Ah, no bird. Oh, look at him coming up behind Chasing it. it. Got him. Got him. Got him. That was so sick, dude. <laughs> yeah, man. Oh, it pulled off again. You'll get another. There's another one. <laughs> Didn't take long. Switch sides with you. They just come up and smash it, dude. And they might not get it hooked just right, and they shake their heads and throw it. And one of his buddies is willing very quickly to take it another swipe at it. Sick, dude. This guy just jumped. <laughs> and he absolutely inhaled that plug. Inhaled it. All right. Got yours on the empty hook. Yeah, the bear hook. Bro, oh, look at mine. He oh my gosh. absolutely inhaled it. <laughs> look at that, bro. <laughs> he just swallowed that thing down. So sick. You know how awesome it is that we're doubled up and they're blowing up still behind us? <laughs> <laughs> Brother, you weren't kidding, man. Yep. I can't thank you enough for calling me and saying, dude, let's go fishing. The time is now. It's due. Yep. And they're so beautiful. Yeah. Look how orange, yeah. bro. Yeah, nice and orange. Gotta love it, my friend. Yeah. Oh, there went mine. He's coming. Oh, there he wants to go. There he goes. <laughs> Nothing! <laughs> All right, let's do that again. Dude. Yeah. God, that's so much fun. <laughs> well, what's the craziest thing you've caught him on? 
Man, I mean, besides a bear hook, you can catch them on really anything that hits the water. I've caught them on ice cubes. If you brought lunch, a sandwich for lunch, we could, Bro, we try, got, we could we try that. Sandwiches. Let's get some of that lunch. Let's try meat. a little bit of that. <laughs> <laughs> grab that, grab a, one of them saws and bring it up here. That'll do. Let's try it. There we go. All right. Here, throw on this swim bait hook. You want to do it or you want me no, to No, you go ahead, dude. There you go. I, uh, I, I can honestly, I've never caught a redfish on turkey. Oh, you pluck it out. I got, got him. him. Redfish on turkey, baby. <laughs> I can see it just drifting or floating down, and one just came up and smoked it. <laughs> Golly, dude. This might be one of the most fun days on Tampa Bay I've ever had, bro. I actually got my first redfish on fly on the other side of the bridge, just right over there. Yeah, you could have a heyday right now on a fly. Anything. You have a heyday on lunch meat if that's all you got. Well, that's what we just did, them. bro. <laughs> yeah, you could use your lunch to catch them. Here's our uh, redfish on lunch meat <laughs> on the turkey. <laughs> that turkey's gone. He done ate it. <laughs> healthy. Absolutely. Oh, dude, every one of them has been yeah. absolutely beautiful, healthy, just clean. Yep. Gorgeous, man. See you, buddy. Go. Awesome. Dude, <laughs> that was epic, dude. That's good stuff. What Let's, an uh, incredible redfish bite. Yeah, yeah, that was full throttle. Let's. Uh, the tide's getting just right to go out and try for some gag grouper in the day. Let's right. go give it a shot, yeah. dude. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah, there it is. Oh yeah. There's the bottom. Yep, we're gonna spot lock right there. Awesome. Sweet. Perfect. All right, let's grab those 8,000s. Let's get to work. You ready to do war? Yeah, bro. <laughs> find the biggest one we can find. And so this is all open bale fishing. You're gonna just keep free lining out. Make sure you don't stop that bait from A to B and just pay attention to how that line's going out. It starts swimming. When away. it really goes, that's him. Close it and go as hard as fast as you can. Cool. Real rocky down there. Yep, yep, big undercut. Hook this bait there. All right, let's get him in the water quick. Cool. Here's your rod here, yep, brother. Perfect. Just be ready now. Well, you, when you told me that you were uh, wanting 200 pound braid line, <laughs> I thought you were crazy. But you know, it makes sense. You have such a short amount of time to get that fish. Yeah locked and and that rod's gonna load up and it, it, you gotta pull it yep and there's no sense of coming out here if you're just gonna break off yeah yeah but what blows me away is they don't seem to be shy to oh, the no. line or the leader no i mean we're using 130 pound fluoro and that big braid ties really good to that there he is get him get him oh, just like that double man. we got oh i just lost mine talking through <laughs> it i got a red grouper <laughs> a red <one. laughs> We're just, just talking got, about it though. Whoo, Letting I that bait got, swim down to the bottom, having the right tools, the right line to keep him from going back down, from whooping him. Man, I got smoked right when you did too. Awesome, dude. Well, that's the first time I've caught a red grouper in Tampa Bay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Bro, we went from red fish to red grouper. Gotta love it, man. Talk about some variety. All right, let's let him back. See you, buddy. Go. <laughs> Did a backflip out of my hand. <laughs> Love it. There he is. Come on, come on. Mm. Man, I had just released my ah. hand. And he stuck one ah. on the side of you. Get the, get the net. Get the net. Ah, this is the one. Ah. Oh, it's a Goliath. <laughs> I thought it was the man. <laughs> Woo! And the net. 
<laughs> Glad we brought Woo. the big net, bro. Yeah, look at him spitting up crabs. He's spitting up stone crabs. Look at that stone crab yeah. out of his mouth. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Heck of a day, bro. Yeah. Oh. Catching some fish, what it's all Catching about. Catching some fish, man. All right. All right, big laugh. Down it goes. See ya. On him, on him, on him, bro. Come on, come That's on. That's the one we want. That's the one we want. There you go, brother. You want to grab him? That's a good one, man. That's the one we want. Look at that, my friend. Yes, sir. <laughs> nice fat one there. Golly, bro. Woo. All right. I got to get a bait down and once I swim to the bottom, I want to catch me a yes, bruiser. Yes, they're down there. The mean fish right there. Yep, zero there and a pinch tail. Almost 28, close to it. Those are three inch increments. What do they, what do they gotta be? 24. Oh, well, yeah. Get him on ice. Go, buddy. Awesome. All right, one for you, one for me. Come on. All right, here's your bait, dude. You ready to go? Get him, dude. That's a good one. That's a good one. Get him. Get up here. That's the one I've been looking for, brother. Yeah, baby. There. That's him. That's, That's him. That's the one. That's the one. <laughs> There you go. All right, that's my big one, bro. Nice keeper fish. I tell you. Oh, we got a double. Oh, get him. Well done, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Mine's a little bigger than yours, dude, yeah. but I'll take a double. Yeah, double any day. Yeah, dude. Man, what a healthy little fish, bro. Yeah, good to see these yeah, guys, dude. too, you know, along with the big ones. It's nice to see the small ones. Got him. What beautiful. The biggest one I've caught today. Look at these marks on his back. I wonder if that's from my line, for him getting in that structure, yeah. and just kind of beating around the structure. Yeah, that's him getting in that in the structure. You pulled him out. That heavy line paid off right there. <laughs> You're kidding, bro. Just pull it with that 200. We're gonna need some heavy, heavy duty stuff. Yeah. Beautiful. 26 inch fish or so. Yeah. Nice 27. We'll nice big out fish. Just to make sure, and then uh, it's legal. We'll fill yeah. the box. Good way to end it, dude. Yes, sir. Two great keeper grouper. What a day, bro. Good to go. <laughs> Let me measure him out and then we'll get out of here. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah, right at 27. Perfect. Beautiful. Awesome. On ice she goes, brother. Perfect. What a day, dude. Yeah. What a day. Come here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro. Yes, Man, sir. That was killer. Bang up day, let's get out of here. Yeah, let's roll. Let's go grab some lunch. Yes, sir. <laughs> And now, the Tackle Box Tip with Captain Jonathan Moss, presented by Icon Coolers. Today, I want to talk to you about one of my favorite tools, yes, a tool, it's called the Dibby by Icon Coolers. If you look in there, you can see I filled this up with water and I put it in my freezer. For 24 hours, I have a solid 10-pound block of ice. Now, I have two of these. I will make two 10-pound blocks of ice. Here's what I do with that. When you talk about retention, ice retention in your cooler, the best way to do that is to use a sacrificial block of ice. Put that in your cooler the night before. That's going to bring the internal temperature of your cooler down. In the morning, I dump the old ice and put my second block of ice, my second 10-pound block of ice that I made in my divvy 
into my cooler. That's going to keep your ice to last for multiple days or if you're out on the water all day, whether you're inshore or offshore going bass fishing, you wanna keep your drinks cold, you wanna keep your food cold, that keeps everything in there nice and cold. Additionally, once I'm done with that block of ice, once I have taken it out of the Dibby and put it into my cooler, now my Dibby acts as a tray going into my cooler. I can put my sandwiches there, I can put silverware and paper towels, paper plates, whatever I wanna keep away from that ice so it doesn't get wet, doesn't get soggy. This is a awesome, awesome tool to use. Again, I have two of these. 24 hours, make yourself a 10 pound block of ice. Get rid of the single use plastics, save yourself some money. It's good for the environment, it's good for your wallet. Check out the Dibby by Icon Coolers. After having fired up redfish all around us, eating literally anything we threw at them, including our box lunch, I can't help but smile realizing this is probably one of those memories I'll describe my grandkids as the good old days. Time flies when you're having fun, and before we knew it, the tide began to change as well as the window of opportunity, and we made the move to tussle with the local rock pile bullies. Any seasoned angler knows that there are days when the fishing is abundant, but the catching is minimal. But every once in a while, there's that legendary day of catching that truly makes all the slow days worth it. You just never know when you'll hit the jackpot.